24 Days of Wonder 24 Stories from My 19 Years with Santa Land on 34th Street The second story I call Perspective Hundreds of thousands of children visit Santa in the course of a season. For the most part, the visits are very similar. Happy, excited, and sometimes very nervous children come to ask Santa for a special gift. And for the most part, they are representative of the children you might find in any typical pre- or elementary school classroom. But some of Santa's visitors are not typical. One day I happened into a house just as Santa was greeting a beautiful little girl and her mother. As the girl climbed on top of Santa's knee, he took a hold of her right hand, which I noticed contained only one fully formed finger and two partially formed ones. I stood in a corner and watched the visit. Oh, it was no different than any other visit. But Santa and the girl never let go of one another's hand. When the visit ended, mother and daughter had to pass by me to exit the house. And as they did, the daughter looked at her mother, smiling, and said, Santa held my finger. It's even more special now. Her remark reminded me of a visit I had years earlier. A little boy of about three or four years of age came to visit. He had hypertrichosis, a genetic condition that causes extreme hair growth. His entire face was covered with fine, dark hairs. The family was visiting from somewhere in South America and only spoke Spanish. Conversely, I only speak English. Yet we still managed to have a very nice visit. The little boy sat on one knee and his brother sat on the other. And he seemed fascinated by my beard and continually touched and stroked it. We took a picture together. I handed him his gift. He gave me a big hug before he got off my knee. And I hugged him back. As he stepped down, he reached up to my beard one more time, stroked it, and turned to his mother and said something. The mother said, See, see and a tear rolled down her face. She picked up her little boy and carried him out. It was then that I noticed that my photo elf, who did speak Spanish, had a tear running down her face, too. I asked her what the little boy had said, and she replied, He said, Mama, Santa has a hairy face, too. When I grow up, I can be as great of a person as Santa Claus. And that's story number two.